Hi. Today we're going to resume our uh, typical discussion of uh, another sutra. Uh, following up from our previous sutra, Pluta Pragrahya Achinityam, Pluta Pragrahya Achinityam. When a vowel follows a Pluta or a Pragrahya vowel, everything stays the same. Prakritya stays the same. Today's sutra 61127 in Ashtadhyayi and 91 in Siddhanta Kalmadi is Eko Savarne Shakal Yasya Hrasvascha. Eko Savarne Shakal Yasya Hrasvascha. So I am going to, I mentioned that I think in the last video that I'm going to do two videos about this. The second one in which I will try to um, provide a detailed derivation in terms of our uh, rules of the grammar uh, of how everything we're going to discuss today works, why it works and how it works, and referring back to all a bunch of our sutras that we've studied before. Uh, so today we'll back on track here with Iko Savarne Shakal Yasya Rasvascha. Ikaha Asavarne Shakal Yasya Rasvascha. Anuvartihi is Padanta Prakritya Achi. Padanta Prakritya Achi. Now, as I will say a little bit more about later, uh, not everybody takes Padanta as uh, coming uh, in Anuvrti. And in fact, it does come from quite a way, um, which we'll discuss in the next uh, video, because Ingaf Padanta Dati also explains the, <coughs> the uh, Vagraha in Eko Savarne and the missing up from the beginning of Savarne but it also supplies us with Padanta here. Now, as we take it all and put it together, Asavarne Achi, Padanta Ekaha Prakritya, Shakalyasya Mate Hrasvaha Cha. Asavarne Shashti Achi, Asavarne Saptami, Achi Saptami, so Asavarne Achi pare when a non savarna ach follows achi savar a savarne padanta ikha and ik which is padanta word ending a word final ik prakritya uh, unchanged naturally shakalya siamate in shakalya's in, uh, opinion and it will be Hrasvaha. So we'll start with a sort of straightforward application of this and then touch on a few of the uh, interesting uh, doubts that some commentators have had. <coughs> so if we take Chakri with a Dirga E and follow it with Atra, up being an ach, then we have an ach with a following a word final ik e. So by this sutra and taking it as being optional, we get two options. <coughs> the first chakri atra that's remaining mostly as it is, it's not 100% prakritya because the dirga e of chakri has become chakri, atra, but there has not been any sandhi change. And the second option is chakriyatra, chakriyatra, and as you may recall, that derives from our sutra a long time back, ikoyanachi, ikoyanachi, Ikahastane achipare yansyat. 
when ik uurlijk is followed by jarn, jarlava, uh, in will come in its place when followed by an, an, a vowel. So here e is an ik, and a is a vowel, an ach. So uh, we get chakriyatra, chakriyatra. And those are the two options. Well, here are a couple of uh, in interesting issues that have come up. The first is that not everyone takes padanta <clears throat> as coming in uh, Anuvarti, uh, in including uh, Professor Sharma in his translation and commentary of the grammar. Now, I don't know why he didn't. It's up to him. He certainly knows the grammar from one end to the other. So, uh, but Batoji Dikshita says, Padanta iti kim. Why Padanta? Why do we say Padanta? And he gives a very uh, thought provoking response. One word, he says, Gauriao, Gauriao. Well, how does Gauriao explain the necessity for Padanta in the sutra? Well, to understand that, and I admit it took me a bit to sort of muddle through this because, uh, well, Prajbakar Shastri and I did uh, work our way through all of the Ting Anta. <coughs> We did not really go into Subanta yet. So I say yet because it's always a wish. So, but in Subanta, so a Subanta, we have Sao As, the Pratama Vibhakti, Sao As from Sup, Sao As. So, Ao would be Dvivachana of the Pratama Vibhakti. And then you would get. Gauri of Gauri, Gauri plus Ao, Gauri being the base, Gauri plus Ao, and then by Ekoyanachi, you would get Gauriao, Gauriao. How does Padanta keep this from being uh, mistakenly uh, Prakritya and staying as Gauri? Ow, somehow. Well, the answer to that is that uh, we can go back to 1, 4, 14, and 29 in Siddhanta Kamadi, Supting Antampadam, Supting Antampadam. It goes back to the grammar's definition of Pada. A Pada is one that ends with a soup or ting, soup or ting. Now, Gauri does not end with a soup because we're, the, uh, we're in the process of trying to add a soup onto it. It's the, the root. So it is not a pada. Therefore, the E of Gauri is not padanta. Therefore, there is no optional prakritya. There is no optional staying as it is. And we have to invoke a koyanachi and get gauriyam in the same way, uh, gauriyao as is, uh, for instance, with nadi, nadi, nadyao, nadyaha, nadi, nadyao, nadyaha. Now, uh, so I think that's kind of fun. Uh, it puts us on our uh, thinking caps or making, thinking what's going on there, since there was no description of that uh, beyond Gaurihao that I could find. <clears throat> Uh, now, there is one catch, which is that uh, we will find out, I think fairly shortly, that the supting on tampadam is not, as with many things in the grammar, 100%, because later of the vibhakti, the root is considered pada. The root is considered pada. That's why Batoji cleverly takes this uh, Pratama Vibhakti as the example, which it is, it is totally legit. And uh, then the bigger question is, well, uh, how is this 
get along with the Koyanachi? Well, as always, one thing I say is we don't have to figure it out because whatever the case will be, somebody else will have already thought of it. But that, that brings up another aspect of this, which is a bit interesting, which is that uh, potentially it, it feels strongly that in this sutra, Eko Asvarne Shakalyasya Hrasvascha, the Shakalya is mentioned not to uh, express its being optional, but purely out of reverence, purely reverential. And Patanjali s seems to feel that way about Shakalya in several sutras. And I can imagine that the importance of Shakalya for uh, Parnini may have been much more tangible then, but I do think it was probably very important. So how does uh, Patanjali work around this the, uh, how do you get it to be optional without uh, pinning that on Shakalya Sya Mate? Well, it's, it's, in, it's pretty straightforward, I guess, especially if you get to kind of make up the rules. But the reason is that this sutra is so directly in conflict with Ekoyana Chi that it doesn't make any sense for it to be anything other than optional. And, uh, and there you go. The other little tidbit that uh, I won't go into in, at all, really, is uh, uh, Batoji says that the cha here is uh, unnecessary. The rasapaha cha. Um, and uh, that's just another point of uh, mild contention. So uh, again, in our examples, we had chakri dirga i plus atra, and we ended up with Chakri, with Rasva E and Atra. And now we will uh, call it a day. And in the next uh, discussion, we'll go into the uh, sutras that provide for each of the words in this sutra. And we could point out that you might not think that Ik is a word, um, but it is because it's Subanta. Thank you.